as we are back and we are about to start the second mission I started pretty much where I left off or just got out of the prison landed on the little dock over here we're about to go start for the first Saints mission I believe in this mission you go change your clothes and then you go break out Gat out of the courthouse because he's about to be sent on death row from you know all the shit he's done from on the past or in the past in the gang but yeah, let's go drive over to Sloppy Seconds. That's like one of the things I love about this game is just like the funny, the funny uh, store names in this game and like the restaurants and shit are one of the prime features in this game to be honest. All right. I remember, right? The clothing options aren't like super great here, but you know, it's it is what it is. Oh uh, shit, I don't really know what I want. Alright, I'm gonna sim past this part, so that way you don't have to w wait for me to fucking customize my dude. So yeah, I'll be I'll be uh, done here in a minute. Alright, I'm done making my dude. I did as best as I could in the fucking thrift store, but... I got like the... Holy fucking jeans, you got... Baseball jersey, you got this... I almost made a look at a Syracuse cap. Based off just like the looks of it. And I got some uh, Yeezys on, you know. Yeah, the, I usually don't fucking buy much shit at Sloppy Seconds because there isn't much selection, but I wasn't gonna run around with my fucking jumpsuit, so. Alright, so now we gotta go to Tina's, which is the bar. Up here. I think we gotta go, uh. Find out some information about my. Considering we have no control over anything now since, uh, well, my, well your guys have been in, or out of the loop for a long ass time now. Turn the TV back on. In a few short moments, we'll be allowed back in the courtroom and we'll find out once and for all if Mr. Gat will go home a happy man or a dead one. Back to you, Jack. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, yeah, as you can see, uh, he's about to, Johnny's about to get sent to the chair, so now we gotta go rescue his motherfucking ass. And now we're in a fight. Oh, shit, I forgot I have guns. Uh, now we're in a fight with uh, the Brotherhood since that was fucking. We smashed uh, a beer bottle over his, their homies' heads, so no. Got their whole fucking team on our ass, too. But, I mean, they're all carrying fucking melee weapons, and I got a pistol, so they ain't fucking stand a chance. Alright, it's over four minutes, so we gotta drive there before the time's up, which is pretty fucking easy. Like I said before, oh my god. You can just ignore that. The fucking dirt bike has shit turn radius, but actually uh, all the vehicles in this game have shitty turn radius. But yeah, like I said before, none of the missions in this game are overly hard. Uh, Saints Row 3, honestly, is like, I'd say our Saints Row 3 is even easier, probably. Some of the missions in Saints Row 4 are more difficult, but... Um, even Saints Row 1, like, some of the missions in Saints Row are fucking difficult, especially those, like, final missions. Jesus. Some of those are, like, near impossible to finish. But, yeah, they definitely took the foot off the gas on the difficulty in this game. Which, I mean, good and bad. Sometimes you had more of a breeze, but it's alright. Just, are you fucking kidding me? This dude just steered over into the my lane for no fucking reason. What the hell is he even doing? Alright, so we've arrived to the courthouse. Now we gotta go break in and get him out. Alright. 
Doesn't seem suspicious at all that I'm fucking running in with my pistol. Why is there somebody laying on the ground? Does this place get fucking held up or while I was outside? <laughs> I like how they just like let me walk in here, that's funny. Mr. Gat, you've been convicted of over 300 murders. Do you really expect this appeal to work? I figure with the statute of limitations, it really should be closer to 250. There's no statute of limitations for murder. Why the fuck not? Watch yourself, Mr. Gat. Or what? You hold me in contempt of court? You're already planning on giving me the chair. You think I give a shit about you not liking me? Fuck off. I'm curious if you can keep your cavalier attitude when 2,000 volts are running through your body. Oh, yeah? And I'm curious if you can keep acting like a douchebag when I shove that gavel up your ass. My client would like that stricken from the record. What's that? Drop it. Anyone hit need a lawyer? Uh, anyone hit and need a lawyer? Shit. About time your burnt ass woke up. You okay, Johnny? Yeah, aside from almost getting sent to the chair, I'm fucking great. Hey, you look different. You do something with your hair? You ready to get out of here? My, not gonna lie, my guy looks pretty legit. He still kind of looks Mexican to me, but it's alright. Um, eventually, I can always change my guy. That's the good thing about this game is you can change your appearance anytime you want. Just gotta go to one of the plastic surgeons or whatever. There's a lot of games you can't fucking customize your person once you've done it the first time. In GTA, it's like, you can, you can do it, but uh, it's cost like a lot of fucking money to change your dude after you've already customized him. I just like this. There's such like a light feeling with this game. It's just like some of the, the humor. Like the fucking judge has got a shotgun. Part's always funny to me. Yeah, like just like this, just like the cutscenes. There's enough like serious content, but also like it's also on the lighter side where there's just enough like jokes thrown in, and it makes the game more enjoyable for sure. Just like GTA 5, like I love. The GTA 5 story was prime to me. That's another one of those games I could probably go back and play the story of this quite a few times. The multiplayer is kind of dead at this point, but I kind of wish they GTA 5 would, or uh, Rockstar would have focused on making a DLC for the story, not just all the fucking online content that they've been putting out, which makes it. And this shit's so expensive, I stopped playing online. But yeah, recently they've just been doing like those bonus content where you get on and you get like 150 grand, which is kind of nice. Something that they finally give back to the online community. As you can see, I'm just like gunning these dudes down, no problem. It, they, none of these dudes are even shooting me that much. It's ridiculous, man. This is like exactly why I put it on hardcore, otherwise it's just... It's just so fucking ridiculously easy. I mean, even this is easy as fuck, but... At least, I didn't want it any easier than this, as it is already. Alright, Gat, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's steal this cop car and... Let's kill this bitch first. Let's get in this cop car and get the fuck out of here. And Gat just got ran over. Thanks for busting me out. Aisha would have killed me if I got executed. You still with Aisha? Yeah, I mean... He, he would have been executed if he got, or he would have killed him, killed him if he got executed. That makes sense. How long were you in jail anyway? Two years and thirty-one days. Not like you were counting. Yeah, right. You know it's weird. People inside were betting how long I'd last. See, when I was first busted, guards were always trying to put me in the ground. After Troy became chief of police, it all stopped. Troy must be more forgiving than I am. Troy's the chief of police. Yo, you better start getting with the times. Julius is missing. Ben King wrote an autobiography. Dex is a... Yo, Fuck. Get me started with Dex. But the real kicker is Troy. In a couple of months, he went from undercover cop to chief of poli police. And word is, he's become obsessed with finding out what happened on your little boat trip with the alderman. If I get some free time, I might swing by the station and say hello. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of funny how you can just lose any notoriety you have between like 
gangs and shit and cops. If you just go into like the forgive and forget, which is that little drive-through place I just went through, it's obviously that's uh, not a the most realistic, but it's it's it is definitely handy. That's for sure. Not in other games, you've always had to like lose the fucking cops by yourself. I mean, you can lose the cops that way in this game too, but the forgive and forget is like an easy way of doing it if you don't want to wait. All right, now we're almost at Gat's yeah, Aisha's house. That's the end of that mission already. Yup, and I'm guessing I'll have to go get some fucking uh, respect so I can even do more missions now. But yeah, I unlocked the, uh, my red light apartment crib. And I actually got a place to lay my head if I need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see here's part of the map. Now I just have it a little bit more of the map discovered than I did before. So this is all like Ronin territory, which is the yellow. Somebody, which is the green, and then there's Brotherhood, which is red, which you don't see any other shit right now, but... Um, yeah, the... looks like... I think the crib is right here, all the way south. Uh, my next episode, I'll... Maybe once I get some money, I'll upgrade my shit in the apartment, since you can buy furnishings and stuff for your cribs in this game, which is actually really nice. But yeah, once... when I get back, I'll start the next mission, which is the third mission, and yeah, I'll probably have to do some little side missions first so I can get some respect so I can start it. And uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys for watching. It's PB and Dre, and peace out.